Welcome to the Band Director Breakfast Show. I'm Jet. And I'm Steven. Today on the show... We have Sheep Herders Breakfast. We experiment with a speech jammer. And a pep talk with Mickey Smith Jr. It's the Band Director Breakfast Show. We're gonna share with you what we think we know today. What's for breakfast today, Stephen? We are having sheep herders breakfast. And uh, I know you're thinking shepherd's pie. I and, was, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's it's something like that. And actually, I made a complete disaster of this recipe. I took, and it took way too long to cook. I think I had the wrong pan for the job. Um, and about halfway through, we gave up and gave my children Lunchables. And then <laughs> I finally finished it and it was actually pretty good. Like everybody ate it. My kids ate their Lunchables and ate a bowl of this. And look, this doesn't look like something that kids would eat, but they really liked it. The bacon's crunchy. Um, I actually recommend this recipe. Just do it better than me. Pre-cook the bacon and then break it up. Don't try to cook it with the onions. And you need a non-stick pan. I didn't use a non-stick pan and I regretted it deeply. So, you've heard of voice jamming, right? I have, in fact. You told me about it earlier this week. That's right, yeah. Well, I have an app that's called the Voice Jammer app and it makes it almost impossible to speak clearly, at least for me. It's very, very bad. So to tell us more about that, here is Steven, dressed like a scientist. Look at Steven, dressed like a scientist. Science. Sometimes you just want to shut someone up. That's what two Japanese scientists were thinking in 2012 when they invented the speech jamming gun. This device consists of a directional microphone and a speaker. When pointed at an individual, will play back what they're saying in real time with a slight delay. A slight, a slight delay. delay. This situation, to use the scientific terminology, makes your noggin all wonkified. See, we tend to think about speaking as being a process focused on the vocal cords in the mouth. But actually, your brain is processing everything you're saying in real time and giving you feedback. Am I too loud? Am I too quiet? Am I speaking too fast? And whenever that feedback is muddled, your speaking becomes muddled too. It gets really weird, and when things get really weird, that's science. So, um, ask me a question. Okay. Um, so, how long you been teaching? I've been teaching for 10 years. <laughs> 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a 57 millisecond delay? That's, wow, okay. I apparently don't know what a millisecond is. Here, what is your favorite kind of pie? <laughs> not, not sheep herders pie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've been, I've been teaching, teaching for 10 years. years. Not, 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 not sheep, sheep herders, herders pie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's play a game. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. You might have heard of the game Taboo. The game is Taboo. How would you get your team to guess the secret word without using the five best clues? Uh, no, no, they have like a flat face and like a tail that sits out like this. They sing, they swing on a stick. Squirrel. Parakeet. Yeah. Play Taboo at your next party. There is a set of cards here. My wife picked them out to make sure they were all music related. So like as an example, I'm not going to read the first card, but this is the back of one of them. This is Abominable Snowman. You can't say Yeti, Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Harry, or Giant. Okay, so um, we're going to try to give clues to each other, see how many we can get done in a minute. And the one given the clues is being voice, voice jammed. jammed. Okay, on I your mark? Move it. Or on my mark. <laughs> get set, go. All right, it's not a band, it's not an orchestra. It's a choir. Yes. I feel good. Um, we just finished playing and they want us to play. Oh, Encore. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do -do 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 Harmonica? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't think you're supposed to mime though, so I messed that one up. Boo hoo. Now I feel really bad. Bad llama. Okay, so um, this person plays a heart or a liver or a spleen. He, they play a heart, liver, or spleen? Because those are organs. It's an organist. Yes. Okay, um... Oh, we still have time. I'm going to go perform on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, okay, you have a gig. Okay, yeah, I do. That's it. Yes! Um, <laughs> okay, oh man. Do you know what Lionel Hampton played? 
Lionel Hampton. You're about to embarrass okay. me. Oh no. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're out of time. Is that you played the vibes? Oh, the vibes. Oh yeah. No idea. This is yeah, not, sorry. My, not my genre. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Here, I'll stop it. Tell me when you're ready. I'm never ready. To be. <laughs> okay. Um, black and white. Piano. Electric. A keyboard. If you're happy and you, you know Clap. it. Um, don't suck, but. Blow? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> band. Um, not a band, but. Orchestra. Yeah. We came back. Good, good hit. Um, when. Somebody makes you laugh when you take a drink. You do a blank spit take. Yeah. Take spit. I it's spit. Spit. Oh, band. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, small trombone with valves. Trumpet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you all get together and you perform on your instruments. Concert. To get ready. Rehearsal. Yes. That's all my Practice. cards. Oh, we're out. We did all of the cards. We did all of them. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta turn this thing I'm, off. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Yeah. Mm. That was great. Okay. The name of the app is Speech Jammer. Oh, that's a good name for an app. Uh, we'll put a link in the description below. And I mean, try this with your students. Like it's sound technology. I think they all find it kind of cool. Yeah, and try to try to rehearse with it one day. Just do it. They'll get a kick out of it. Oh, that would be funny. Like you wear it while you're rehearsing the group. Yes. Oh in, man. In your Zoom meetings, put it on. Say we're gonna try <laughs> something. Okay. Ugh. I think Zoom meetings already voice jam you. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up? Yours truly back in the space, back in the place. Once again, Mickey Smith Jr. here to give you a motivational minute. Listen, falling down and failing does not have to be forever. In life, you can make failures just as long as you don't make the fail yours. I'll say that again. You can make the failures just as long as you don't make the fail yours. Why? Because failing and falling is simply part of the process. And the person who falls down and gets back up again is so much stronger than the person that never failed to begin with. So don't look at it as a setback. Think of it as a setup because in life, there are no mistakes, just mistakes, missed opportunities along the way. And remember that the learning that takes place from the failures makes us all better and serves us forever. So keep on going. Make your classroom sound, your teaching epic, and I promise you, your legacy will be significant. MickeySmithJr.com. Hey! Thanks for watching, everybody. These ideas, they work for us, but they might not work for you. If you have better ideas or just different ideas, put them in the comments below. And remember, get lots of rest. Stay hydrated. Like, comment, and subscribe. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to eat breakfast. breakfast.